DJ ATV. There is urgent need to restructure the country, says Peter Obi, as Delta State denied receiving 4.2 million pounds Iboré loot. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on the location you are watching us from. A very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update, where you get the latest and the best news all around the world. In case you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first to receive our videos anytime we post a new one. Let's get to the main news. The former vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in 2019, Mr. Peter Obi, has said that it is very unfortunate that governors go to Abuja every month to collect money made from crude oil sales from the federal government. He said that restructuring Nigeria would boost the nation's economy and end insecurity. Mr. Obi said this on Tuesday at the fourth Ada Ada public lecture organized by the Association of Nsuka Professor AMP at the University of Nigeria Nsuka UNN. He noted that Restructuring would make all governors to look inward to make their state productive, adding that it offers an opportunity to set up state, local and community police to tackle crime within their community. But it is unfortunate that some governors believe in going to Abuja monthly to get federal allocation from proceeds of oil. And they have forgotten that the price of oil in the international market have depreciated severely. Speaking further, he said no developed country in the world currently depend on crude oil, but they invest in their children, agriculture and encourage small and medium enterprise by giving a soft loan and other incentives to their citizens. He therefore said that there is an urgent need to restructure the country for the economy to grow to the desired standard that it deserves. According to Mr. Obi Peter, calling for restructuring is not a plot to divide the nation, rather, it should be seen as a move to build the ailing economic and restore adequate security in the country. It will also bring about comparative advantage of every state and our natural resources that are lying waste will be fully annexed to boost state economy," he explained. Mr. Obi Peter added that in the 60s and in the 70s, Nigeria was among the best economies in the world because agriculture was a major foreign exchange earner for the country. In the north, we had granite pyramid. In the west, we had cocoa. And in the east, we had palm oil. Meanwhile, the Delta State Government has come out to deny receiving the 4.2 million pounds James Ibori loot. And this was contrary to the submission that uh, the Accountant General of the Federation, Mr. Ahmed Itris, gave. He said that the federal government has returned the recently repatriated sum as allegedly looted by the former governor, James Onanefe Ibori, from the United Kingdom. To the state coffers. The Akata General has said this when he appeared before the House of Representatives Ad hoc Committee on assessment and status of recovered loot, movable and immovable assets from 2002 to 2020 by agencies of the Federal Government of Nigeria for effective and efficient management and utilization of such funds. When the committee asked him the question about the Ibori looted funds, Mr. Idrick said with an empathic knock on the table, saying that it was paid to the Delta State government as such recoveries goes specifically to the state. The state governor will not even allow this to fly. He added that some recovery are for some state governments. I remember there was a time recovery was made on behalf of Plateau State. 
There was one for Bayesa State and now one for Delta State. You know they will take the federal government to court for holding their money. So we don't joke with their funds. We paid their money immediately. And the Delta State government have received the 4.2 million um, pounds Ibori loot that came from UK. But the Delta State government has come out to reply the Accountant General of the Federation saying that we have been receiving calls since the Accountant General of the Federation made that claim of the transfer of the fund to Delta State government. But I can stand to tell you that no, no funds has been transferred to the Delta State government account. Earlier, the Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Malami, has taken the stand that your state won't share any money with the federal government, despite the effort by the governor. Where the new development is coming from is still unknown to us, as we have not received any money from the Accountant General of the Federation. As I speak with you, we are yet to receive the monthly allocation that is due to Delta State. Once the funds are transferred to us, Deltas and indeed the entire nation would be informed and would be carried along on the expenditures. The Governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifa Yokowa, has said that he has spoken with the Attorney General of the Federation and that the Attorney General of Delta State has gone to have a meeting with him. He said, and I quote, I think that we are working and we are likely to come on the same page. Also, we have written a letter of protest to Mr. President. We have made two suggestions in the protest letter we wrote. We said one, return the money directly to us or apply it directly to a project that we feel are of importance and are in Delta State so that Deltans can directly benefit from the recovered loot. And I don't think anybody can fault that line. Hey guys, this is where we draw the curtain for today. But before we go, let us take you straight to the headlines. There is need for urgent restructuring of the country, says P2B. As Delta State denies receiving 4.2 million pounds Ibori loot. So guys, a lot has been happening about missing funds and funds not going to the proper channel to which it was supposed to have gone. Now, what do you think? P2B also has called for the restructuring of Nigeria and has claimed that the government or the governor of the state only remember to go to Abuja every month to collect allocation that comes from the sales of oil proceeds. Is this right? Do you think there is need for restructuring of Nigeria? Share your comment on the comment section below. A very big thank you for watching till the end. And please do not forget to share, like and comment on all our videos. And do follow us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram. And also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. I am Victor Obruche, reporting for DJMTV News. DJ and TV.